the Voyager 2 probe is now in a space between the stars after exiting the sun's protective bubble. Which it began with a whisper from the edge of our solar system. After more than four decades of silent travel through the dark sea of interstellar space, Voyager 2, one of humanity's most resilient and enduring emissaries, stunned the scientific world with a final series of images. These were not just snapshots. They were cosmic postcards from a distant frontier. Messages from an explorer that had ventured farther than any human-made object except its twin, Voyager 1. The pictures it sent were both mesmerizing and baffling, raising questions that scientists are still struggling to answer and forcing a re-evaluation of what we know about the outermost regions of our solar system and beyond. Before we start, hit the like and subscribe buttons for more exclusive news. Launched on August 20th, 1977, Voyager 2 was never designed for a moment like this. It was originally tasked with conducting flybys of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, a grand tour that took advantage of a rare planetary alignment. After completing those historic encounters and offering humanity its first close-up views of Uranus and Neptune, the spacecraft was redirected toward the unknown. No one could say exactly what it might find out there. Over the decades, it quietly continued transmitting data, traversing regions of space so distant they seemed more science fiction than science fact. Then, years after it passed the heliopause, the boundary where the solar wind gives way to the interstellar medium, it sent back a final burst of visual data that shocked everyone. The images were unlike anything Voyager 2 had ever captured before. Previous pictures from its planetary flybys were filled with recognizable celestial bodies. Moons covered in ice, swirling storm systems, the great blue rings of Neptune. But these last photos were different. The first revealed a strange, glimmering distortion, a curving line of light that appeared to stretch across the edge of the frame. At first glance, some thought it was a glitch, a product of a dying camera sensor pushed beyond its intended lifespan. But further analysis revealed the structure had spatial coherence. It was not an artifact. It was real. Voyager 2 had captured something sitting just outside the familiar boundaries of the solar system, something that looked almost architectural in its symmetry. Another image added to the mystery. It showed a vast field of particulate haze, clouds of interstellar dust, but denser and more structured than expected. Scientists had long assumed the interstellar medium was a diffuse, featureless expanse, yet this picture hinted at organization, perhaps the gravitational remnants of long-vanished stellar phenomena. In one frame, there appeared to be a strange void, an almost perfect sphere of blackness surrounded by an uneven halo of reflected light. This wasn't a black hole, at least not as typically defined. The surrounding stars were subtly distorted, suggesting the presence of an intense gravitational field that was bending light, an effect known as gravitational lensing. Then came the most astonishing image. Voyager 2, drifting alone in the vastness, captured a moment where light from a distant star was abruptly occluded, not by a known object or body, but by something dark, irregular, and massive. The silhouette was jagged, almost artificial in outline, and seemed to shimmer around the edges as if it were partially translucent or surrounded by some form of energy not currently understood. Engineers and analysts at NASA and affiliated institutions were floored. Nothing in Voyager 2's trajectory or mission profile had prepared them for this. The object, whatever it was, existed in a place no planet or known celestial structure should be, and it appeared to be moving, albeit slowly, across the backdrop of stars. While no official interpretation was released immediately, internal murmurs among scientists pointed toward the possibility of an undiscovered interstellar object or structure. Some speculated it could be a rogue planet, ejected from its native system and now drifting silently through the galaxy. Others entertained the idea of an interstellar probe or remnant of a once technologically advanced civilization, a notion that would have been dismissed outright had the shape not looked so... intentional. Whatever it was, it challenged every preconception about the nature of deep space. The implications were staggering. If Voyager 2 had indeed photographed something artificial, or even something simply unknown and complex, it meant that our understanding of the cosmos was woefully incomplete. Voyager 2 had spent over 40 years transmitting data back to Earth, but these final images suggested that the universe still had secrets hidden even in regions we thought were empty. 
For decades, astronomers have used instruments and models to make assumptions about what lies beyond the heliopause. This new evidence blew open the door to possibilities previously relegated to fringe speculation. The mystery deepened when scientists attempted to triangulate the position of the unknown object using Voyager 2's telemetry. What they found was even more unsettling. The object wasn't stationary. It had shifted between frames taken hours apart, not in a way consistent with orbital drift or normal movement of interstellar debris. The change was erratic, almost purposeful. This introduced a new wave of hypotheses, each more outlandish than the last. Could it be a vessel of some kind? Was it a naturally occurring object exhibiting behavior we simply didn't understand? Or was it a convergence of rare cosmic conditions creating an illusion of artificiality? Voyager 2's long journey had always been about pushing boundaries. But with these images, it had arguably ventured into a realm beyond scientific boundaries, into the speculative, the paradigm-shifting, the eerie. The spacecraft was never meant to be a photographer of interstellar anomalies. Its imaging systems were rudimentary by modern standards. Yet they had become instruments of cosmic provocation, asking questions that even the most advanced telescopes had not dared to ask. The visual data also reignited interest in interstellar probes as tools of exploration. For years, proposals for follow-up missions to Voyager 1 and 2 were put on the back burner due to costs and technological hurdles. But now, the need to return to the edge of the solar system and beyond felt urgent. If Voyager 2, with its limited 1970s era hardware, could capture something so perplexing, what might a modern probe with high-definition sensors, AI-driven navigation, and real-time quantum communication be able to find? Researchers began to analyze Voyager 2's images using the most advanced AI models available, attempting to enhance resolution, identify patterns, and classify the anomalies. The models struggled. In particular, the outline of the dark object that occluded the star defied easy categorization. It didn't fit into any known astrophysical phenomenon. Even the AI's attempts at pattern recognition, trained on millions of cosmic images, returned null results. The algorithms labeled the object as unclassifiable, a category rarely used. That term sent chills down the spines of many working on the project. It meant the machine saw something it couldn't interpret. One of the strangest consequences of this event was philosophical. For decades, astronomers had wrestled with the Fermi paradox, the contradiction between the high probability of extraterrestrial life and the lack of contact or evidence. Voyager 2's last images seemed to suggest that maybe contact had never been about communication in the traditional sense. Maybe it was about glimpses, evidence at the periphery, signs not of intent, but of existence. A civilization so advanced that it no longer leaves radio beacons or metallic probes, but something subtler, stranger. Objects that drift silently in the cosmic dark, observed only when they wish to be. There was also a sense of poetic closure. Voyager 2, a machine built by human hands in an age before the internet, smartphones, or reusable rockets, had outlasted generations of scientists and engineers. It had survived the cold vacuum of space, cosmic radiation, and the erosion of time itself. And in its last breath, it had offered a gift, a puzzle so profound it might take generations to solve. Unlike most final transmissions, which are typically celebrated for sentiment or nostalgia, Voyager 2's final photos weren't just about legacy, they were about revelation. Even the timing of the images added to their mystery. They arrived after a prolonged period of silence from the spacecraft, during which engineers had feared the probe was finally lost. Its power reserves were nearing depletion, and its signal had become increasingly weak and erratic. Then, just as contact was expected to be lost permanently, the spacecraft beamed back one last packet of data containing these extraordinary images. It was as if, in its final moments, Voyager 2 had turned its gaze outward one last time and captured something the universe had never intended for us to see. This singular event sent ripples across the scientific community. Conferences were convened not just to interpret the data, but to question the frameworks within which such data was understood. Astronomers, physicists, and philosophers gathered to debate the implications of what Voyager 2 had seen. Was this evidence of intelligent design? 
Was it a naturally occurring cosmic oddity that had simply never been observed before? Or was it something altogether different? Something that hinted at dimensions or realities yet to be understood? If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, could you leave your comments below and tell us? What are your thoughts on Voyager 2's final images? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.